All right, hello boys and girls. We are back for another episode of Demon Souls Remake here on the PlayStation 5. Since last time, I have altered my inventory just a little bit here. I have the compound longbow with the crescent falchion plus one and the adjudicator shield. And currently, we are only wearing leather armor on the top. Um, yeah, and I popped all of my souls that I had in storage there, except for obviously the souls of the bosses being defeated. So we are going to need to get these up. That's kind of important. Vitality and endurance. Keep going that direction here. Okay. Now what we're going to do? Because we eventually want to get uh, the fire longsword and the lava bow. I can forge weapons for you. So can we upgrade the compound along bow? So we need hard stone for that. So that's plus one. Plus two. No, it's not. I need more hardstone. Does he sell hardstone? I don't think he does, does he? No, he doesn't. That stinks. You come back alive. But we'll get some hardstone coming up. Um, speaking of, well, actually, I was gonna buy um, buy some more arrows. But for right now, necessarily. I think in this area here, the uh, mace is actually better. The blessed mace is better than the uh, crescent falchion. So I am going to go to the blessed mace. There we go. All right. Now, if we run over here, we might actually get a more than this. I don't know what this guy has, honestly. Perfect. Look at that. We got a ton of hard stone and large sharp stone. Just what. So the goal in this video here in World Two One is to unlock the blacksmith, the other blacksmith who is right down there, but uh, we cannot get to him right now because I'm pretty sure we just die. We might not die. I don't know. Well, let's see what this guy has to sell. Does he have hearthstone? Oh, he has hearthstone too. I could have just came here. Not a big deal. Not a huge deal. So we're going to go this way. There are a couple items over here, and there's a potential to die to those things. So keep that in mind. You have the. Uh, Sticky white slime. We do have the, what do you call it, ring on? Clever cat. I forget what it's called. Whatever. Not clever cat. What's the ring? Thief's ring. Sorry, not the clever cat. We have a thief ring on, which will help us uh, not necessarily get detected as easily. This area is excellent for mining. Or mining. We're getting materials. We will probably kill everyone now. What happened there? I got stun locked. Well, both fighting each other at the same time. Almost didn't work out for me. Really didn't work out for him. Let's see if we get some, uh, get some good items there. Alright, so in here... I'm gonna heal up real quick. Because the worst part about this place is the dogs that are behind that door there. So we're gonna take care of these people. One at a time here. We're gonna play it safe. That does decent damage, okay. Now, I've run through here before in the past, but bro, we're not doing that right now. Spider stone. The problem here, like I said, are going to be those dogs that come after us. And I don't remember when they do. So I want to kill these guys before. This guy has a bag, so it's fantastic. Okay. 
Look at all those beautiful up here materials. Right in there is our problem. There's doggies. I don't remember when they come out. Okay. Now we want to go in there though. We don't want to miss that. Okay. Um. Well, that didn't work out so well, did it? You can see him right there. Not with the guy in there. Snipe one. All right now, that guy's gonna blow that thing. Oh, we should blow this up. Blow it up. Load up. There we go. Only two dogs. But we do have this guy in there. And the, the problem with him is the fact that he's... He's in a... Uh, kind of in the middle of the doorway. We're just gonna snipe him. Because that makes it easier for everyone. There we go. He's dead. You can't backstab these guys, but uh, it's not necessary for this guy. You can see there, it's hard to get behind him because he's kind of blocking this doorway. So. And actually, I guess we do have to come in here because you. The way forward is not right there. I was mistaken. Be careful in here. I turned the wrong way there. <laughs> I knew there was a guy there. I just didn't uh, choose the right direction. The wrong direction. Right there. Uh, you can. Are there more people in here? I do forget. Is some guy jump out at you here? No. Pick up this item. Some more healing items, always appreciated. Get a pickaxe there. It's a decent weapon. All right. Then we come up here, and you can see there we have this guy. Way over there. There's a ghost to kind of help us figure out what we need to do. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to come over here and we're going to the left. That will break. We're going to circle around him. I'm just going to chain back step. He's kind of in that central platform there, and it's very annoying. But, as you can see, he's super easy to chain backstab. Plus, we get the official's gloves. And if we can... Do anything else. Alright, so in order to progress, uh, you do need to come down here, as you can see by the phantom, and pull this lever. Opens up the gate that's basically right above you. So hooray for that. And then once you're down here. Mace is a little slower than I like, but whatever. Kind of in an interesting predicament down here. I didn't want to back up because it takes forever. Oh, see, the cued roll. At least there's a decent amount of stun locking with this weapon. Little slow. This game's a little slower than I remember, or than I 
like I said before, maybe it just seems a little slower because the other games I've been playing recently I have been uh, quicker than this. Faster. Let's go whack this guy. And what else is over here? There's over here, but... Is there a reason to come over here? Besides getting a few souls. It's not really. Alright, I guess that guy was worth it. We're gonna drop down here. To grab that, and then we have to go around here, unfortunately, again, because it takes us back to that initial area. <laughs> the dogs and whatnot. Nope, not in there. Come on, girl. Alright, once we come up here, then I think we're all set. Is there anything I missed down here? I don't think I missed anything down here. Don't believe so. We can check from up here. No. Pick up the soul. And then we get to go. Let me just take one quick look here. I think we got everything. And we get to progress through this fall gates. To the next area. This next area is where we get to open up the shortcut eventually. Many skills of lizards. There's a few of those guys, but um, they're a little bit later on here. A room full of them. Okay, let's see if I remember. That's the drop down. There's nothing over here. You can snipe that guy if you want. So you don't have to kill him later. That. I like the bow. The bow gives you so many different options on how to take care of people. I really do enjoy the bow. So the grass. Alright, so here's that room I was talking about up on the right here. You kind of have all these guys. more of them up here as you can see. I think they drop is it all meltstone that they drop? I'm not sure. Um, but they will kill you. They fire if you let them get too close. But the goal is not let them get too close, obviously. That's all of them around here. Okay. Yeah, those guys are down there. Elixir. The world is this game. <laughs> Alright. There we go. They are dead. We can't get down there yet. Quite a few of these guys. But uh, again, we want to take the longbow out, kill them in range, and they can't do anything to you. Alright. Does that thing break or no? No? Okay. Now, the most important thing before you go through here. Killing these guys. Going this way because this opens up the shortcut and the uh, 
Look at that. Look at all those items we got. Awesome. Uh, the shortcut and the blacksmith. Excuse me, I'm trying to speak here. All right, so we're back out. We're just on top now. Here. This wheel. Activate the elevator. Up, down, and hop over here. Grab clear stone. And wait for the next one to come. That's the main level area there. And we're just going to walk right off. This is Ed, isn't it? Uh, what does it matter? Yeah, this is Ed. So we are going to upgrade our compound lock if we they can. Go yet again. Do it again. Uh, sticky will be good if we want to go Dex. We're not going to do that though. Um, let's just do this again. Oh, I don't have materials. What do we need? I need a large hard stone. Well, could upgrade the mace. Or the present falchion. We have the present falchion. We have jade stone. That's a blessed mace. Has stuff I don't have. Uh, we're not going to do anything with this, so might as well just upgrade. Hey, I don't have enough. I need one more new jade stone. How rude. Could upgrade the Uchi. I don't think it's going to be as close. Uh, well done. Close to what we need, though. For uh, matching the damage up to the pressing the bell. Or, uh, hey, please get on there. Please get on there. Thank you. Oh, stay on there. With a blessed mace. I think maybe Armored Spider would be better with, uh, I don't know. I think the Blessed Mace is probably good against, the best against Armored Spider. Maybe the Crescent Falchion. I'm not quite certain which one would be better. But, in the next episode, we will go through this fog gate and continue on with World 2 1. Now that we've upgraded our uh, compound longbow to plus, I think, 4, so that's very good. And in the next episode, yeah, we'll probably finish World 2-1. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.